on guys, my name is Daniel. I'm Ruta. And this is our shuttle bus, Atlas. Atlas. Um, in this video, we're going to give you guys a description of why we decided to build Atlas into our little tiny home on wheels, uh, show you guys inside, give you a little tour, and talk a little bit about some of the things that we put inside of Atlas to make her our little, uh, our our little, little home, home. Our little home. Our little sustainable home on wheels. So we really wanted to have a little home while we're traveling the U.S. and seeing beautiful things. Like the place that we're in right now? You can't just really see, us. but it's beautiful trust right us. there. It's really pretty. <laughs> um, but basically, we just wanted to create a little dream home on wheels that's very sustainable, secondhand as possible, non-toxic. So everything in there is good for us and doesn't off-gas, and we can happily live in there while seeing really beautiful places. We both work remotely, so it was a perfect opportunity for us to travel the country, see it bunch of beautiful places across the U.S. and uh, build a project together that we thought was going to be really fun and enjoyable. And that was a really bit harder fun. than we'll we thought. We'll talk about that later. Um, we're going to give you guys a rundown of the bus itself, talk a little bit about that, and then give you a tour of the inside. So come on in and let's introduce you to Atlas. All right, come on. We'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of under the hood of Atlas and talk about some of the specs about her as a bus itself. Um, she's a 2013 Chevrolet Express 4500. Uh, she's a six liter engine and it's a gas engine, not a diesel, which was important for us for cost purposes and also just uh, efficiency as well. Um, we get about 18 to 20 miles per gallon if we're not going through some crazy roads, which is pretty good for a 25 foot shuttle bus, which is what she is. She was a 13 passenger shuttle bus before we converted her. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'll give you guys a little bit more of a tour of the back right now. Okay, so this is Atlas's booty. Uh, this is her backside. Um, we added a two foot deck for storage purposes, but also to be able to store our two um, propane tanks, which is what we use for our uh, stove, which is inside, which we'll show you in just a few minutes. On the top of the bus, we have our solar panels, which is how we run our, all of our electricity in the bus. We had six, sol six 100 watt solar panels. Now we have five. We lost one in New Mexico, rest in peace. Um, but we've actually been really successful with the solar panels that we have. We have two Air Max fans, not Max Air fans, they are Air Max fans. We have two fans that are on the top of the bus. One is in the bathroom and one is in the uh, living area, which we'll show you on the inside as well. We also um, converted our, um, there, was a, there was an emergency exit hatch in the middle of the bus, which is pretty standard for shuttle buses and we converted it into a skylight. It's been really awesome for light purposes to be able to see the beautiful stars at night and just to have more light in the bus in general. Um, the last thing is that there are, we have a bunch of windows on the side of the bus, which is a perk of why we bought a shuttle bus. But we also have three emergency exit windows that we kept as emergency exit windows that can open out to out allow airflow and also if we had to get out of the bus randomly. All right, so welcome to the inside. Start in the front area. Um, this is obviously the driver's seat. We never really had a passenger seat. Um, we never really wanted to have one anyway. So we made this entire area storage, which is super important when you're building a bus. Um, as you can see on the front right here, we have a storage area for Ruta shoes on the top and my shoes on the bottom. And then in this back area right here, we have a storage area, which is actually kind of a little bit of a miscellaneous area, but we also have our laundry in here. Another thing that we put up here is added a storage flap up top right here. Um, and this is where we store all of our window covers, which Ruta made out of Reflectix and a cover for the skylight as well. Just and behind the driver's seat right here, we have a bunch more storage that we put a bunch of miscellaneous things. Also behind that little wall right there is a bunch more storage as well. Um, we put our five gallon drinking water right here, which is where we, uh, we store our drinking water and other random things that we can store back there. So obviously when we're coming inside the bus, a lot of that storage area we don't really want to see most of the time. So we can pull this curtain, have it be nice and private. All right, so this is not me just uh, lounging on the floor. This is me telling you guys how we built the floor. So on our bus, we actually had a pretty substantial uh, tilt on the bottom. So I had to lift the floor almost about six inches from the back to the front. So the front is about six inches higher than the back is. Um, which was a hell of a process, but was necessary for us. We also were able to insulate the floor then a lot, which was great. And then we covered the floor with um, this cork flooring that you see on the bottom, which is really good for insulation and also really good for under your little feetsies. So before we move on into the most important part of this bus, which is the kitchen, I wanted to mention this. I've seen so many tours of people's buses and vans and shuttles, and they literally don't have any mirrors, and I didn't want to be those people. So we have a full-sized, full mirror in here on this wall, and it's just really great for when I actually want to wear real clothes and see what I look like or do my makeup. And also this is really nice because it opens up the space a little bit and makes it feel like it's a little bit bigger than it really is. I'm claustrophobic, so that is a really nice bonus. 
and it also looks cute like come on this like really makes it feel like a home you know so welcome to the most important part of this whole bus build which is the kitchen this is literally the heart of our home sustainability was really pretty much the number one priority when we were building this bus but storage was second so as you can see we have a good amount of cabinets in here so we have the two upper cabinets and then we have one two three cabinets right here our AC is in this one, it's a window unit. And then down here is a fridge drawer, which is a chest freezer that we converted into a fridge with a little thermometer. And we have the big under the sink cabinet, three more drawers. And then we have this really wonderful spice cabinet right here that Daniel made, which makes things really nice and organized, which we love. Over here we have a big black sink, which is a very big non-negotiable for me. I know that it took away from the counter space, but I wanted a big sink. I know that a small sink would have just pissed me off all the time. And we don't want that. So this is really, really nice for just a little bit more dishes or washing your hair. And then it's paired with this really beautiful gold sprayer. Um, it's really nice for cleaning purposes. And then over here we have a three burner gas stove um, with an oven. We haven't had any problems with this. The propane in the back of the bus that you saw is what powers it. And then for the counter, I really wanted a white counter, but I didn't want anything that was composite or anything like that because those off gas, that was out of the question. So what we ended up doing is a, a product called Ardex Feather Finish. It usually comes in gray, but I found it in white. It's basically a concrete substitute. So it looks like concrete, but it's not as heavy, but it is just as sturdy. So I really, really love it. And basically we don't have a ton of counter space. So we do have this cutting board here that we place on the big kitchen sink if we want some more extra cutting space or some extra places to put things that we're cooking with. And then also in this pantry here, I made a pull out cutting board also for that same reason to have more space and to have more cutting space if needed so this is our back seating area which was a super big priority for us um, and yeah. we wanted it to feel spacious comfortable and maximize the space as much as possible so we created this like u-shaped bench mm -hmm. bench bench situation, bench situation. <laughs> um all of these benches have storage which we'll show you in just a minute but um basically we want we work we spend so much time back here that we wanted to make this as comfortable as, as possible, possible. Yep. like i mentioned in the beginning of the video i like to basically give things a second chance at life um which is very important to me so these cushions are actually from an old mattress that my parents had it's like a foam mattress that i cut up into not only is it foam it's memory foam it is memory foam. it's nice on your ass when it's really cold though it freezes and it gets really hard but for most of the time it's very very nice all the cushion covers the pillow covers and the curtains i made by hand um i did make them from a linen fabric just to kind of carry out that organic and natural and non-toxic all the way throughout the bus um and then this table is one of my favorite things in this bus um it's called a lagoon leg and then i just made this tabletop from like a round pine piece um, but it swivels, so it's amazing, and it turns on itself, so if you, you know, want someone to grab something, um, they can just turn it. But it's really, really nice. I had made a different table, and it was just really stuffy in the space, and this is really nice because, like Daniel mentioned, we have a lot of things in these benches, um, so it's really nice to just kind of shove this out of the way as we're going and getting into the benches. All right, so that's obviously what's on top of the benches, but what's inside of the benches is also super important. So every bench has a, uh, a, a lid that you can lift open um, on this side over here is where Ruta has all of her clothes stored um, and some other accessories and things like that and then the back part of the bench is where our power system is which is a Bluetti solar generator um, it has the uh, converter and the everything else that is involved in a solar system is put into the uh, Blue Eddy system the bench that we're sitting on right now is where we are holding our 75 gallon water tank which takes up pretty much this entire bench and then on this side over here is my bench where i have all of my storage of my clothes and my different accessories my hats and stuff like that and also our hot water heater is under there which is a bosch hot water heater um, it's a four gallon hot water heater um, we turn it on only when we need to use it and we also have our water pump and our water accumulator under under there as well that hooks up to our water system also additionally with our water system so we saw another video of a couple doing this which was a huge bonus so i would highly suggest you do this if you install mm -hmm. your own water system if you have a pump and an accumulator make sure that you wire a switch to your pump basically the way these pumps work is that if the water system if the water is running through it and somehow some way you maybe run out of water you're mm -hmm. somewhere and you can't get water the pump is just going to continuously run because it's trying to pump water mm -hmm. what happens is, is that if you don't have a switch installed the pump dies and then that's a really big pain in the ass for you mm -hmm. if you're in the middle of nowhere. We installed the switch. It's super easy. The switch was like five or seven bucks oh or God, something yeah, like that. Oh my God, yeah, we bought it at Ace and it was so cheap. It was very cheap. It's an, one additional thing you have to wire, but we actually, the very first time we took the bus mm -hmm. out, 
for our trial run, mm -hmm. we ran out of water and we didn't know what was happening. Our pump was running like crazy. I thought something was broken and all I had to do was just turn the switch off so the pump didn't die. Mm -hmm. First time we used it, it was great. And we have our 12 volt um, fuse box as well, which runs all of our DC power in the bus, which is our lights, our fans and mm -hmm. things like that. And we have the bed battery as well, which we'll talk about a little bit later when we talk about our bed, but the battery mm -hmm. for that is in this bench it's as well. It's a tractor battery, by yeah. the way. So you guys saw where we store most of our clothes in the benches, but we also have a closet that we installed right here to have some hanging room. Also, we have a top area where we kind of store some miscellaneous bathroom type things. And then also we have storage underneath for part of the hose for the compostable toilet. And over here we have the little wood stove. So this is the Cubic Mini. It's about 11 by 12. So it's really, really tiny. I think this is called the Cub. This is our heating element of the bus. I didn't want to do more propane. So wood stove was the only other thing that made sense. Um, and it does a really good job even though it's super tiny it heats the space perfectly we've used it a couple times and didn't have any issues with it plus it just makes it even more nice and cozy and like homey in here especially with you having to like put logs in it and it just was really good it smells really good and it was a pain in the ass to install but overall i'm really happy with this purchase and i would not go any other route right in here we have our shower and our toilet so the shower itself is a standing a full standing shower the base is 32 by 32 and we have a detachable um, shower head up there we also have a little nook for our shampoos body soaps and all that kind of stuff um, but we technically really don't wash our hair in here. We usually use the sink, so that is just for body showers. And then right next to it is our compostable toilet, which is the nature's head. Pretty standard for buses and um, RVs and boats and stuff like that. And I do want to mention that we do have a fan in there that Daniel mentioned when he was outside. So um, it goes in and out so we can suck up all of the moisture as we're taking a shower or in let air when it's hot and we need more circulation in here. Pretty cool, right? So this is our bed. As you can see, it moves up and down like I just showed you guys. Uh, this is from a company called Castle Wench. Um, they designed this bed specifically for our dimensions of our bus that we provided for them. Um, it's on a four track system. The switch controls a motor, which is inside the bus, which is run by a tractor battery, which was in the bottom of that bench that we talked about earlier. You can actually hook the bed up to your power system if it's strong enough to be able to power the motor inside of the bed, but ours was not. So you can wire it to a tractor battery it's worked fantastically for us, and um, this is how our bed goes up and down. It's not down completely right now, but it goes all the way down to the bottom when the table's not in place, and that's where we sleep. Well, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I um, hope it's been helpful for you, and maybe it's made you feel like that, you know, maybe this process isn't going exactly how you thought it was going to. Trust us, we know exactly how you feel. Yeah, we wish more of that was online. Honestly, we felt like outsiders being like, why is it so hard for us and so easy for everybody else? But the end of the day like look at this view it was all worth it we might need some therapy but that's fine this will do for now so just remember that every single process even if it's hard you're going to get through to the other side and it will be worth it in the end yes it will so if you have any questions ask them down below if we didn't cover something let us know we can always touch up on that and then all of the links for everything that's in the bus will most likely be in the description box if i didn't buy it on amazon i will not be listing amazon you're welcome so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and there will be more content like this, giving you guys the, uh, the no bullshit approach on how you guys yeah, should build your seriously. bus. seriously. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. See you on the Bye. next one.